Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. It is time, finally, for a concoction video. Not a craft concoction, but an actual food concoction. Those of you who have been around for a while know that I used to do those fairly often, but now that I eat only meat, I'm not interested in smelling sweet stuff baking in my house. As for feeding my mother, she eats the meat that I cook, and then I always have something in the freezer for her, either some cooked potatoes or some pasta, and I have a freezer full of frozen veggies that will be there forever because I'm not eating any of them. It's very easy to prepare her meals, so there's really nothing for me to show you as to what I do. I know a lot of you ask me to show you how I cook my meat, and it would be so boring. It's the same every single day. I have a frying pan, and no matter what I buy, if it's a, a roast, a beef roast, or a pork roast, or a steak, or for chicken, I tend to buy boneless, skinless, and I just slice thin and I fry it in a pan with a little bit of butter so it won't stick to my old pan. Or I'll put some bacon ends and that adds enough grease that it won't stick. And that's what I do every single day. There's really not much to show you. However, you may remember a few weeks ago I went to Walmart and took you with me and I picked up these containers of candied pineapple and also some candied what were they green cherries I thought those green cherries were going to taste like mint but my mother said no they just taste like cherries I don't know why they're green is there such a thing as a green cherry or did they put food coloring I don't know confused they were on clearance for 50 cents and when I came home I saw that there would be recipes inside this little thing so I looked at a recipe and I thought oh might be fun to make. So I saved one like this, but then the next time I went to Walmart, they still had like five containers of these. I think maybe four of the pineapple and two of the cherries. Jeez, that scared me. My mother's door just shut. <laughs> A breeze going through this old house. Anyway, I bought the rest of these things. And during that shopping trip, I looked to see what ingredients I needed because I thought I should hurry up and just do a concoctions video because so many are asking for it. And I picked up everything that I needed, but then when I got home, I did not have the sugar cookie dough that I thought I bought. I had it in my hand, I showed it to you guys. I know I put it in my cart. Sometimes it rolls to the back of the cart and I put my bags in there so it probably stayed in the cart and made it to the parking lot. All I know is I checked my receipt and I didn't pay for it so somehow it did not get run through the register. When I just went to Walmart during my last tag along or I believe it was a ride along, I bought the sugar cookie dough and I'm going to make this. Let me show you the ingredients, obviously. I need a container of these. Sun ripe pineapple. And they're just candied pineapples and they're like in a gooey syrup type thing. Must be delish. I also need coconut, chocolate chips, sweetened condensed milk, which is not the same as evaporated milk. The recipe calls for macadamia nuts, but you'll remember that I told you my mother's favorite nut is walnuts, and hang on. I'm back. I was on the phone for quite a little bit with Sandy. Sandy. I forgot where I had left off, so good thing is, is I uploaded my intro, and that part is already edited. I love doing it in parts. I really enjoy editing as I go now. It's just a lot less work in the long run. I left off at the nuts. So I was telling you that the recipe calls for macadamia nuts, but my mother loves walnuts, and so I bought her a big bag of walnuts, and that's the only ingredient that I've already given her. You can see that she's already been in there. So I'm just using walnuts. And then last but not least, I have the sugar cookie dough. Now the recipe did say an 18 ounce refrigerated cookie dough, but I only have 16.5. I'm sure that's gonna still work. And it's also asking for a 15 by 10 baking pan. I don't have a baking pan that big, so that's okay. I'll be able to use this and I'll be able to smush that down to the bottom of the pan. Fine and dandy, I'm sure. We're just going to go over to the counter and I'll show you how to put this together. I'm going to set my oven at 350. I'm going to preheat it. I'm going to look for my pan and it says lightly spray the pan. I don't have any spray, so I'll just butter it a little bit. That's it. 
we'll get started. My oldie but goodie pan is only 8 by 12 and they're saying 10 by 15. So I'm glad the pan is smaller because I have less cookie dough than they're requesting. And also, I don't need to be making all that much. So the first thing is we just take the cookie dough out and plop it into here. And we're going to press it down. I did grease my pan with butter, but you can use spray. And I think I'm going to go get the butter for my hands. My hands are clean. Just washed them. And you do know that I won't be tasting this, right? There won't be a taste test. Sorry to disappoint. My sister is supposed to come over today. I'm hoping so I can have her eat some <laughs> and uh, give her some to take home. But my mother will want me to freeze some for her. So none of it will go to waste. Okay, butter for my hands. Actually, what I'm going to do is I have some coconut oil that I had bought when I was just low carb and I'm going to use this on my hands because I don't use it anymore for anything because it's not animal and I'm going to just put that on my hands and we're going to press the cookie dough out. There! Now I need to wash my hands. Now we're supposed to just top with the other ingredients. It says to use a whole can of sweetened condensed milk, but since my pan is smaller, I'm not going to put the whole can. I don't know, I'm thinking... Oh, my oven's ready. Let's try this. This is probably three quarters of a can, and I think that'll be enough. I'll have to give this to my mother. I'm sure she'll find something to do with it. Next, we have one and a half cups of semi-sweet chocolate pieces. I have a half cup here. I'm going to do two of these for a cup of pieces. We'll just see how that looks. I don't know about you, but that looks like enough to me. Maybe just a few more just for the heck of it. One cup of flaked coconut. This is going to be a sweet dessert. And I think I probably will put the whole cup because my mother loves coconut. You might want to use unsweetened coconut if you can find it because, ouchie. Yeah, definitely doing the whole cup of coconut. Trying to get it in all the nooks and crannies here on the edges and in the corners. Now it's asking for one and a half cups of nuts. And I'm thinking that I might still use one and a half cups of nuts. At least a generous cup. And I'm using my handy dandy little chopper. And a bit more. Let's bring this back. We have some big pieces. There will be some little pieces. That looks good. Oh, I was supposed to put the pineapple after the sweetened condensed milk and then the chocolate pieces, then the coconut. And that makes sense because now I'm stuck with the sticky thing last. And I have to press this all in. So that's not good. It's what you get when you don't follow recipes. Maybe mine will be better than theirs. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on top and then I will probably just put more coconut oil on my hands. Maybe I can put a little bit more um, coconut on top. You could always try this with just pineapple chunks if you don't have the candied pineapple or without pineapple. I'm sure this other stuff in here is good as is. And if I were ever to make this again, I would just buy a box of sugar cookie mix and make my own dough. That would be much cheaper. Okay, I am indeed going to sprinkle a little bit more coconut on top. Now, let me go wash my hands. Going to put a little bit more of this coconut oil on my hands and just press this down as best as I can. I don't know that it's going into the cookie dough. My cookie dough is pretty thin. I 
think that's good enough. Now it says to bake 18 to 25 minutes. I'm going to start at 18 and I will check it until lightly brown. Cool in pan, cut into bars, garnish with pineapple wedges. And they don't mean these, they just mean other pineapple wedges. So I'm totally skipping that part. Yields approximately 48 bars. Mine will certainly not be 48, and it will be even less than what they're saying because in my world, a bar is a gigantic piece. So, <laughs> so I'm going to put this in the oven and I will show you when it comes out. I'm really guessing with this. Might be a little too done now, but I did not want it to be undercooked. And I wasn't sure, since I've never made anything like this before, this ended up being maybe 26 or 27 minutes. It said 18 to 25. At 18, this center, when I jiggled it, it looked soupy, so I didn't think that was cooked enough. Now, it at least seems to be set, but that's gonna just cool in the pan and that's gonna continue cooking. So it might be overcooked. Nothing I can do about it now. I'm sure that it will be edible. So let's just let this cool and then when I cut it, I will show you what it looks like inside. This is not completely cooled yet, but it looks awesome. And my sister is here, so both she and my mother indulged in some of this loveliness. My sister got a piece this big and my mother got a piece about half that size because she wasn't that hungry. I think it's going to be fine. It's still very soft here in the center, so I'm glad that I cooked it as long as I did. And of course, you know, the edges is a little bit crispy, but my mother and sister said it was just awesome. And I am going to be cutting the whole thing as soon as it's all completely cooled and just bagging them individually in baggies and popping them in the freezer. So I don't think they're going to dry out. And it was sugar cookie dough, which is very um, tender is not the word that I want, rich. So it won't get hard as a rock. So I think this was a huge success and it can give you some ideas of playing with cookie dough. Whether you buy the dough or you buy a mix and make the dough, you could just press it in the bottom of a pan and add some sweetened condensed milk and some ingredients on top that you like. It doesn't have to be what I used. You could try anything. So have fun with it. Let me know if you make anything similar. Don't worry about the pineapple. You can use anything you want. Give it a go and see how you like it and let me know. So that's it for now and I will be back with more soon. Bye! Oh, and so cool that it did not fill the house with the smell of sweet. I don't like the smell of sweet anymore. So that was a bonus. And I will try to do some more concoctions for you guys. I can do simple things. As long as I can freeze them, then it won't go to waste. So I will try to get back to doing more. All right, that's it. Bye! My sister went home with this big piece that you see in this video. She absolutely loved it. And it was a big hit with my mother because she raved about it some more after my sister left. I was able to cut the rest into 16 bars for my mother and that is all wrapped and in the freezer. I would love to do some more concoction videos for you guys, but I can't do them too often because it'll take a while for my mother to eat all this stuff and I don't want to have my freezer filled with sweet stuff. I need room for meat. <laughs>